Well, hello everybody, my name is Alexander Nikitin. I'm a professional trader, a programmer and a trading coach. And uh, let's analyze Aussie dollar today. As usual, I start from the high time frame and go to the low and lower time frames uh, to see uh, the trading opportunities. My high time frame is daily. On this time frame, I am mm, I'm deciding what price is doing and uh, what price is most likely where price is most likely to go. Okay guys. Uh let's see what happened recently. Let me draw it this way. We have this ankle leg as compared to previous it doesn't violate any highs, but as compared to previous movement it is an ankle leg. Then we had a correction to that ankle leg and then we have a violation of that ankle leg. These three lines say that we have a trend, uptrend, zigzagging to the upside. Then we had a kind of retest to the downside, retest to the upside. Why it is the retest? Because we don't have a candle close above the previous high. After that, we had a high, high, oh, sorry, high, low. And then we broke to the upside. You see, this is the high. And these are the candle closes above the previous high. And since then, we are trading within this leg range. Technically, it is called a correction because we don't violate either the beginning of that, either this way, or the lower part of that. So technically, it is called a correction until we break either of these um, points of an impulse okay what we had next uh, well we had a kind of correction to the downside and a kind of retest of that we didn't uh, close above the highs of that but the spike of this move is long enough to touch uh, the highest close of the previous movements you see it is long enough okay so we found a bit of resistance in this zone between the close and the highs we tested this zone once then we broke to the downside yes broke to the downside technically it signifies the beginning of a downtrend and then we went to the upside so this place, this place is good for selling opportunities. We hit it one, two, and now we have it three times. So from this place, it is good to sell. Okay, so as you see, we already started the movement to the downside. So to sell it right now will not be a very good idea. We need either to wait when it comes back to that the zone to sell it or we can have another opportunity and look at this uh, consolidating period you see these spikes you see the red candle and you see this uh, green small candle this is what I call indecision point. Let me mark it as a zone from the closes mm. to that. And as you see, this indecision point was a very good resistance zone previously. Another resistance zone. Yes. And once again, a resistance zone. So if I switch to a lower time frame, to my trading time frame, I can find some small bullish opportunity at least to have this this much target something like that i'm not saying i'm going into to uh, uh, uptrend resuming but at least to these small targets let's go and find something so i decided to stay bullish the bullish movement is uh, the most optimal here bullish small movement to the upside uh, until we reach this zone of that you see no resistance here 
until we reach this zone so we have very free space of movement and at the same time we are uh, we are staying at the resistance that now should uh, turn into a support let's go to four hour and what the four hour says uh, we've been installed double button then we violated high 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 close retracement another high 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 close another retracement another high 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 close another retracement another high high and high close so according to that we have a trend to the upside Boom. and now we retraced to the downside we are staying at this zone it is a very good zone of consolidation especially the lowest line could be a very uh, good line to place stops beyond something like that okay but I don't see any opportunities on 4 hour time frame let me go to 1 hour time frame and here it's looking better it is looking better okay let me mark that Boom. then we have the kind of correction like that then we have a high close correction and again I will miss that a high close once again so the most recent movement to the upside says we have a high high and high close and only that I have decided to enter long only then I'm looking for the reasons uh, for entry and the first reason I see here is a bad pattern formation if I mark the most recent movement of that violating these highs starting from here then I mark the most the correction to that movement like that and then we have an, an opposite so the correction movement like this zigzagging correction is called a complex correction let me apply my two to see if we have something here boom it is a bad pattern and as you see it was already triggered so price will most likely move to the upside from here okay what I, what I will do I will wait until price goes to the downside first like this then I will enter to hit these targets if we go to daily back back to daily you see these movements are not very much from blue line to the green line the movement is not very large so this is the opportunity I'm looking at all right now that's it for today hope you like that please share is, share my videos with everybody subscribe and I will record more analysis later